In this video, I'm going to be showing everybody how to solo Mugen Train. So I hope you learn how to solo Mugen Train from this video. Please like and subscribe and enjoy. Alright, loading into Mugen Train. You gotta wait 50 seconds for everything to load in or something. I have no clue. Alright, after loading in, you're just gonna see Rengoku. Just don't go to Rengoku. There's an easy way to skip his dialogue. If it's your first time, go ahead. Um, yeah, we don't talk to Rengoku. You just go to the door and you just teleport to the core. This is the first quest type ish you just have to complete this you have to go right here you just you just don't get here late that would suck because this thing closes and then you basically lose automatically getting here there's a core in the middle you have to protect that from intruders the intruders are very weak if you don't have like 40 m1s like on solo i guess um any m1 works but it's just better to have high m1 to kill them easily i have 56 i don't have any tears right now all right go to everything uh that was on my part I got him. so basically the best thing here is just go in front of them and then kill them do any move it's basically a one shot with any ice mastery i've been soloing mugen train so until, uh, since i was level 150 so if there's a civilian boss it's like do a little bit of moves and he'll die it's like m1 combo just go in front of them and they're right about to arrive and just um, keep them wanting it's the easiest thing there we go Fire. all right i got I got distracted them back. You can let the core get to any HP, just don't let it die. It's very easy to just not let it die. You can just attract if they, you have like really low M1, like attract them. Run uh I'm bad at attracting. There we go. Just like hit them one time and run to the other person. Like this. Hit this too. Oh my god. Just hit them one time and then yeah basically. That's what I'm trying to do. Hit them one time, go to the other person, hit them one time, and just keep like getting their attention getting your the npc's attention towards you but not the core and uh, you should be pretty good it really doesn't matter as long as it doesn't get to zero hp you should be fine go go just like keep protecting the core very easy and uh, it's basically always it just keep it running in front of them and so always hit and after it reaches zero seconds everything just dies automatically and then you get teleported to this cart. So what you want to do is do nothing. Stay here till they attack this cart. Don't go over to that cart. That cart sucks. Okay, we're going to let it die. Everything spawns there. We can let it one cart die. But this cart has to survive. Not all the passengers. Just any passenger. As long as we survive and we don't hit zero here. Uh, you can go there if you want. But it's like... I don't recommend it. There's too many NPCs that spawn there, and then the, over here NPCs also spawn. So it's just like better if you let that die. And whatever spawns here, you just kill it. Let that. Like if, if they are coming from over there, they get stuck on these corners around here, like that. They're attracted to me, so let me just kill them. Anyway, they get stuck on the corners, and uh, they can't go through here. So the best thing is just to just stay here. And even if they do get here, some do leak out, so you can just one hit them. They don't have much HP, so you, now you basically just wait for the stuff. It's basically around 200 seconds that they kill the entire card over there and then start spawning over here. I forgot to say that, that after they kill that card, they just, everything starts spawning over here. So just kill these as well, and just kill the things that spawn, and then kill the things that leak out. It can be much hard, and if you just want to get rid of them you can just all one shot them everything is just basically gonna come to these two passengers other than if they're people from that other car everything is gonna come try to kill these passengers all you want to do is just protect these passengers from these npcs and you should be pretty good they don't have much health they have like around 150 health so it's very easy to one shot them even if you do like 30 per m1 you should be able to like one m1 combo them because they don't really don't have much hp if, even if these guys die, it's fine. They just go to some next person and then keep targeting them until they die. So just don't mind them. Try to not use moves as much as possible because if you do, you're gonna need a lot of stamina potions. There right, we go. I recommend doing Mugen at like level 100 or something. As long as you have like around 35 per M1, you should try doing Mugen because Mugen is really easy and people are like they think that Mugen is really hard just make sure you have around 17 or 15 blocks because then you can block the later on boss that most people think is the hardest boss but it's really not 
it's the easiest boss. For me, the end move is like the hardest boss, like the one on top of the train. And everything else is just pretty easy, yeah, because it's easy. You just need to just protect this and not let it get to zero as long as the timer stays. You can't really do the aggro method here. You kind of have to one-shot them or just one combo them because, uh, yeah. It will not last and you will not be able to protect them if you were trying to, like, make it so you can only aggro them. So this is a small, small space. There's not much places to run or dash. So they're gonna catch you in your dash, so. I recommend at least having a little bit of M1 while doing moving train. If you have, like, 35 M1 or something, Close to relatively close to 35, you should be able to kill them very easily. You can also do this as a flare, I don't see any problems on doing this flare. Better if you're a demon, just more, more constant damage. Try not to like let them die, the easiest thing. It just takes a lot of time, it's very easy, it takes a lot of time. People don't, usually don't tend to do it if they fear of dying. If they have like, just try it one time, even if you uh, don't have enough in one. Try it one time to get a, like a feel for yourself and then you can decide for yourself if you can do it later on in your levels or not. Alright, when you spawn here, he does aggro on to you so you can do whatever, drink potions, whatever, I'm gonna just drink one potion. So now if you go around over here, he will aggro to you. If you have double jump, use that. I do have double jump, but I can also... You can activate war drums to double jump. So I'm gonna go over there. Try to du keep double jumping. He, he did catch me there, but it should be fun. Launch me over here. And this is basically just five M1s into a move. You can get him stuck on that little ledge most of the time. Not getting stuck there for some reason. Like, you use all of your moves, even the counter, even everything. This is why you need a lot of stamina here. You just need to kill Enmo fast. And if you can kill him, then everything other than Enmo is pretty easy. Enmo is just the hardest part for starter players, you know? Because you, you have to get him to half, and it's a humanoid boss. Try to keep him near the wall. You can also double jump and just keep your thing here until he gets here. You can just hold Z till he gets there, and when he does get there, just combo wombo him the wall. If you're a DBO player, I'm pretty sure you have a lot a lot of experience wall comboing, so it shouldn't be that hard. It's like five and ones into a move. Pretty easy. If you just fall off, it's very easy. It's the easiest clash in the game. Make sure not yeah, just make sure not to get hit by that. His ult you can stay near his dome and he, he won't do much stuff to you. Don't let him heal. You can also heal while running with pots. But you need a lot of pots for this if you're gonna be a low level. If you're a high level, you're fine. You probably won't die. Commodore also helps, but the Commodore heal won't do any, do any good here. It's a constant fight. All right. After you get him to like 6,200 HP, he should teleport you to his uh, dream realm where you fight the flesh monster. Alright, drink pods, get to max. You really don't need stamina here, just a few months can. Get to max HP though. I really recommend just getting to max HP. I have one area health left here, so I'm gonna just drink pot. And then go in the middle of the flesh monster and watch out for this hand. That's the only hand that can knock you out of this. Not this hand, this hand's fine. Just keep keep in mind of that hand. As long as you can stay clear of that hand, you're good. You can just stay in the middle and keep him wanting. This is why you need at least 15 blocks. You just need to keep get aware of this hand. Hand, bro. You can even do it on 300 ping like I'm doing it on 300 ping. Just make sure to keep watching the hand. Focus on the hand. And then if he does that, run away, ult, or do whatever move just to try to kill that. Go back in. Yeah, he kind of spams his hands. You can hit this move and then uh, go drink a potion. It doesn't really matter. Block, dash, so you're all good without him healing. This is the easiest part of Mugen Train in my experience, in my opinion as well. Yeah, just don't get I'm too bad. Also, I have like 300 pings, so I can't usually block. I can usually block it. Sometimes I just can't spend leg from it. With higher ping, it's kind of a little bit harder. Not that hard though. It's relatively easy. Every in every ping. If it's just like you have like 50 ping, it's gonna be really easy to block both hands. Yeah, if you don't like do anything about that little thing, it's fine, but relatively it does a lot of damage. So, and then right after that, it's gonna be the little piping thing, which is like easy. I'm messing up. Even I messed up a lot, and even I passed through that. And now he's just gonna die. Off at the time now. Off at the... Oh, so a wall combo. 
I'm living. Oh my god, this is too loud. Basically, you, what you want to do is if you have ice, just counter, and if you don't have ice, run <laughs> at the start. Just run, bro. If you don't have ice, or a little bit like swamp or ice, or uh, if you have a BDA, and run. If you have swamp or ice, it's relatively easy. You can do this with any blood demon art. I just like doing it with ice. Ice is literally the best thing in the game. The cooldowns are so short, man. The damage might not be the best damage in the game. The cooldown is so short. I also understand swamp is extremely good for doing this. You can hold out a counter. Can't hit you. There we go. Go. Also activate wardrobe. And just keep spamming moves. It's not that hard. Probably extending. He has a little bit of stun, so should be alright. He does an M1 right after the. 5 and 1, so you're good. He does tend to do a lot of moves though, so watch out for his spam. Yeah, he's gonna start spamming now. If you get knocked away far, he's gonna start spamming it. Well, uh, you have now done Mugen Train. This part is extremely loud. And uh, there you go, or blazer, ticket, and straw hat from one Mugen Train. Uh, that I hope you guys actually found that helpful it's really easy to do mugen train i hope you guys actually try mugen train even after watching this or before watching this get like a hint of what level you need to be to actually do it i recommend 35 plus m1 or 40 m1 or near that numbers can actually one shot the thing um i understand you will got uh, you guys will struggle against an the on top of the train just try to wall combo him get, get constant breathing if you're uh Slayer, get constant breathing, which is 115 breathing bar, and uh, just get a lot of stamina if you're a demon. This is my kit of, of me doing Mugen Train. I have this lantern, which helps me out a lot with stamina. So, this is my kit, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I hope you do Mugen Train for yourself, and I hope you actually solo it. So, yeah.